Hi, this is me. Yep, Jill Michelle Melian. I've been on some TV shows. Big Time Rush, Reno 911, Mad TV, and I'm a national touring stand-up comedian. And then I get this phone call from this director friend of mine that I've known for over seven years. And his name is Alex For Alex, come in here. Yeah, step in the frame. This is Alex Ferrari. Hey guys. Tell him about the phone call when you called. So when I called you, I said, Julie, what? The camera, sorry. Uh, so when I called, I said, Julie, why don't we get you and your group of your amazing, ridiculously talented friends, and let's make a movie, and stop waiting around for other people to tell us if and when we can make a movie. Exactly what I was thinking. So serendipitous. You're a horrible actor, by the way. So Alex reminded me, write what you know. And yeah, it inspired me. It inspired me to write about a working but not famous female stand-up comedian actress that's not married, doesn't have kids, that's getting older, that's been doing this for a while and her old ways aren't working anymore. The world around her has changed with social media, with reality television. Everything is different and she doesn't know how to find her balance or her place because she's not famous enough that she doesn't matter and I don't need all of that. She needs it and it's so special and so real and so raw and vulnerable and it gives the opportunity for these amazing actors that are usually cast in bigger comedic roles to be very truthful and to be honest. Joseph Reitman, Jenica Berger, Deborah Wilson, Mo Collins, Alex Scooby, Holly Wartell, Victoria Pratt, Sean Pulowski, Lana Turner, Carlos Oscar, Rourke Walker, Mr. Jack, Ruben Dario, and Carlos Alice Rocky. I'm just so happy to share this opportunity with you. This is Meg. Alex Ferrari has been in the film industry for over 20 years and has written and directed multiple award-winning short films, commercials, and music videos. His shorts have been screened in over 600 film festivals around the world, including the Cannes Film Festival, and even got a thumbs up from the legendary film critic Roger Ebert. In the spirit of helping our fellow indie filmmakers and artists out there, we've created the Indie Film Syndicate membership site. In this site, we'll be offering over 40 hours of online filmmaking courses, exclusive articles, and support for all indie filmmakers out there trying to make it happen. And we're gonna be creating new content every month during this entire process of creating This Is Meg. So it's gonna be real deep down the rabbit hole kind of stuff, real in depth on what it really takes to make a micro budget feature film in today's world with today's technology. And of course we have some really cool rewards to share with our backers. If you're an indie filmmaker or a stand-up comedy fan, we got you covered. You can also be a guest on the Indie Film Hustle, the number one filmmaking podcast on iTunes. So here I am on set. We already started shooting a little bit. And on behalf of myself, Alex and Mr. Jack and the entire This Is Meg family. We appreciate anything you can do to contribute to make this happen. And don't forget to pass along thisismeg.com. Thanks again. Going to bed. These nails, they will not be in the movie. These are for a TV show that I'm doing and I'm yeah, they were ghetto fabulous, I know, I know. But Meg is more real and raw and we're gonna do that, okay? <laughs> <laughs>